All right, scammers are looking for new victims as the summer travel season continues now. CBS 4's Zach Myers shows us what to watch out for online. Well, some of these scams try to cash in on recent trouble at the nation's airports. Another literally tries to trick you in your sleep. One prominent scam is the HR vacation approval scheme. A scammer emails you posing as your HR department and asks you to check your company's vacation approval list. It may look real, but the link in the email takes you to a fake website designed to capture all your information. And another scam impersonates an airline that supposedly has money for you to claim because of a recent flight cancellation. The email subject line may say, flight delay compensation, US $135. Now, obviously, if you never had a flight delayed, you'll recognize this as spam. But if the hackers can trick even 1% of Southwest airline passengers from last year, they'd have more than 100,000 victims. And here's one you don't want to sleep on. Say it's 3 a.m., you're in a deep sleep in your hotel and the front desk calls your room phone. They say, we're sorry, we've had a problem with your room payment and we need to run your card again. Would you grab your wallet half asleep and just read them the card information? Well, you shouldn't because it's a scammer calling your room from somewhere else. It's called the front desk scam. If you get that call, it's best to just say you'll come down to the desk at a reasonable hour and handle it in person. Other things to keep in mind, authenticate any information sent to you in an email. Don't follow a link that you receive. Contact an airline or another company directly. Also, watch out for fake website domain names, especially if the company name is spelled wrong. That's a big red flag. Finally, look for the padlock and the S at the beginning of a web domain. If it starts with HTTPS, that means it meets security standards, which the padlock signifies. If there's no S and no padlock, you want to stay away from that website. You can read more about these scams and tips on our website, cbs4indy.com. It's safe. For CBS4 News, I'm Zach Myers.